much of the chemtrail in the department, but it's all good. You can tell the air is hot. Blue. Yeah, it's still blue, yeah. Well, I miss the like years ago, I remember when I was a kid, I used to look up in the sky and see all the nice puffy white clouds and the, yeah, they're and the very, very thick, dark blue background. Very thick too, yeah. But they started chemtrailing now and it's taken over the sun. The sun can't get through like it should. And we need the vitamin D from it. So, uh, you know, uh, I don't know why they're doing this to us. Yeah. You know? They say they're trying to fight global warming, yeah. but to me, I think that they're starting global warming. That's why it's been so hot last week or the week before. For so it hasn't month. worked. The Ken failing hasn't worked, so uh, you know something's going on. <laughs> yeah, for sure. yeah. yeah, so we'll be down here for quite a while, maybe till 7.30 if anyone wants to come down. Every Saturday, give out flyers, DVDs, they're free if you like, and uh, you can make copies for yourself and give them out in your uh, city or wherever you're from. So. Make copies up for yourself, you know, don't, don't rely just on this table. Go home, make up copies, uh, flyers. Yeah, we got the 9-11 uh, anniversary coming up in a very short time. Yeah, that'll be the 11th anniversary, I guess. It's very 2012. Uh, we got Zion 2012 was launched yesterday at the London Olympics. You guys, yeah, it's finally gotten on the. Uh, finally getting out there now. That uh, the 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 whole start of the whole um, the introduction of it. It's just it's so. Um, it's so occultic and so uh, like uh, it's in your face and it's just pyramids all over the place and it's got gargoyles or falling angels and all that kind of stuff. And it's not the way it used to be. It used to be a nice big spectacular thing. And now it's, it's not like that anymore. It's just uh, it's all dark and gloomy and it's just sending you a message really of what's really going on. So and that Satan works in mysterious ways, you know. Oh yeah, it's a big party out here today, a uh, mad decent walk party. Into community, and, and work, that means they're gonna go in around and asking questions, addresses, phone, you know, whatever they can, snooping sure. around. Sure. That's my question. Yeah. Look at this, their plan to engage in community, asking questions of people. Yeah, they're going to be asking questions and, and uh, Google's going to be around. That's right. Six years, I think, they gave Paul Margadar. They, they, they don't want him in, right? They want to keep him at the... Uh, the hardware don't want him in. Yeah, they want him in. They keep him there. They don't want to close it down. If they close down Guantanamo Bay, they're going to have to bring him here. So they want to keep him there. Basically accused of uh, killing one U.S. soldier or a medic or something like that. But what about NATO and the U.S. going and killing uh, millions of uh, civilians every day? You know? Isn't that wrong? That's terrorism right there. Pictures yeah, of the smile. The first picture. Oh, yeah, different guy for sure. Yeah, I saw on, uh, on TV at, um, in court. The guy was just sort of like a staring into space, you know, like. Is it significant that when the judge addressed Holmes, he didn't answer? We heard instead from the attorney. Uh, no, but it is interesting to me that he is communicating with his lawyers because, again, that's, that's significant. So now we see him rise, head out. Not a single word, and again, that expression on his face. One of those uh, mind-altering drugs and stuff like that, I believe. It kind of looked like that guy, remember he was... He, it's not the United States. Yeah. You know, this is the land of us. So is this... Yeah. So do you think it's the real, the real guy, or what? Different smile, yeah. Different smile, different nose. Different yeah, oh yeah. Oh, of course. It's a different guy. There's a picture of Little Wayne. It says, um, a few days ago, 12 people were killed in a cinema in Colorado. A few days before the shooting, Little Wayne received the mu music video, which had a uh, snippet of him dancing in a movie theater with 12 skeletons. You could see it. Yeah. Yeah. See, everything is uh, all in plain sight. Even before it happens, we got something else on that. What's this campaign? So they got a little kid running for a uh, I would cry as well if I was uh, being kissed by those people. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Oh, yeah. Um, that's Zion 2012, the Olympics at lunch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that that code, I think it was what, two. When they first came out with it, I think I was on uh, View from Space and I heard about that. Uh, had Zion, so I went to check it out and I'm like, damn. I mean, wow. And then, I'm not sure if anyone has touched on this, but does anybody know who invented the torch relay? Adolf Hitler. So. That tells you it has a cult origins. I mean, it's all linked back to pagan Greece. All linked back. I mean, you look at the Olympians and Titans, it's all there. And, uh, yeah. People don't go there. Not even that, but think about it. Then about a month and a half ago, we had the Euro Cup. Everyone's forgot about it. Now it's the Olympics. Then it's going to be, what, the NFL. Then it's going to be, uh, what, now with the, with the World Series coming up shortly. And that's the, what, three months? Um, then it's going to be the NHL. So there's always something to keep the public distracted. Always. But yeah, no, there's so much pagan imagery in the Olympics. Uh, actually, because I don't have a TV, Adam says something about a uh, hundred foot, like Satan as an opening ceremony, something to that effect. I haven't seen it, but oh yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yukon 3, and Ontario, Ontario 4 and 6, but mostly in rural areas. Yeah, no, no, because I've been to Brazil. That's why I have no, I have no uh, uh, allegiance to them in soccer or anything else. Great bunch of people, great country, great food. That's why I just do that because they were so hospitable to me when I was down there. That's why I wear it. So n n nothing beyond sports or anything like that. No. So Tom, uh, you up? were you missed last weekend. I know. Uh, I was at a wedding. Yeah, and uh, I had a newspaper out here. I should have brought it with me yeah. about the uh, Muslim cleric. I know. Oh, speaking of which, uh, YouTube channel second Adam Bomb. I'm slapping is nothing. See, there we go. There it is. If you tell the truth, you will be hated. According to this Canadian law, if someone sees. Who cares about the Canadian law? Okay. Who cares about the Canadian law? Women should be protected. However, the Canadian laws, which gives too much freedom to women, allows them to dress however they want. So on one hand, he's saying the women will be protected if they dress modestly. On the other hand, he can miss the striking people. He, so he, he's a hypocrite right there and he was just exposed. Because then if he makes that statement, why is he admitting to hitting people? Yeah. That makes him a hypocrite. Exactly. So suppose a woman, modestly dressed, says something, I cannot believe in your prophet because he was a false prophet. What's he going to do? Hey, excuse me. Yo, that's it. That's it. David Lynn met with the Sun Media. I think it was uh, uh, Michael Corrin. This is young. This is the Eaton Center. This is Young and Dundas. Yeah. So, were there no police around? No, there weren't any police around. No. I, I mean, they're probably doing their regular patrol, and sure. I, I mean, it's downtown. There's a lot of bigger things to get involved with. Well, there are, but to, to, to slap someone. Yeah. Grant it more power. Exactly what the Vatican wants it to. Because the Pope, uh, Pope Benedict wants all the power to give it to the UN. Same thing for Syria. France is give all the power to the UN. I finished my third person out in male persona. Yeah, that's pornography. Yeah, you know what? The born again Christian right wingers, they say, oh, that, that's pornography. Bull. God created this. You see? What's the next article, Mike? Here's the uh, the rioter gets 15 months for her role in the G20. Yeah. That's her court. Yeah. Wasn't she a part of the Black Bloc or something yeah. like that? It's the one that they have blamed to be the kingpin of the G20? Yeah. She's not sorry. Well, the devil perverts things. So she could have seen the injury. Oh, this should be good. Uh, American What's Spring. This Innocent apology. Oh, I look murky. This guy is supposed to be some civilian head of the police. So he's going to apologize, but this is like two years later. Yeah. You know. But why didn't they apologize right after the event? Right? It does make sense. And I'll meet a few here, man. <laughs> Go get him, Chief. Get him with the paintball gun. fully give your life to God, you'll never meet God. God's not a whoremonger. He doesn't give himself out to everybody so they can cheat on him, okay? The road to eternal life is narrow and few people find it. Everybody wants the 401, the 401 to destruction. 16 lanes, nicely paved road right to destruction. <laughs> Christians today, they take the get out of jail.
jail free card. They repent because they know Jesus died for their sin. They know Jesus is God. But then they then they, they put the get out of jail free you card in their no pocket. And they keep living for themselves. But a real Christian not only takes the get out of jail free card, you live for it. You follow God. You give glory to God every day. You confess that Jesus Christ is Lord in the beginning, and you never stop confessing. You keep confessing. You keep living for God. Tell me, people, if you have a better way to life, tell me what it is. Come and talk to the street preacher. Come and talk to us and tell me what's your better way of life. When God says, turn to me, turn to me and I will make you fishers of men. I will convert you and give you eternal life. You reject him. You reject God. Everybody gets a chance, man. New York. What about it, brother? Everybody gets a chance. This is the bad news. I want the good news. The good news is that Jesus Christ died for sin. The good news is that you can have eternal life if you die to self. If you are born again to serve God and God alone. You know, you need to turn from idolatry. See the billboard? This is idolatry. These are the affections you have in your heart instead of serving God. You love the things that are created instead of the one that the creator that gave it to you. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, all the technology of the world won't, won't inherit the kingdom of God. You know, when, 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 the, when, the, when the U.S. dollar collapses, when the economic, when the economy collapses, Amish people won't have a problem because they know how to, they know how to take care of themselves. Or Mennonites, they know how to take care of themselves. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says women should be modest and, and, and trust in modesty. Give glory to God, not their flesh. You know, everybody knows Oprah didn't die for your sins. Everybody knows Lady Gaga won't save you when you die. The Blue Jays won't save you when you die. The only reason this is in your heart is because you're not serving God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind. The first commandment. This is, this is what happens to your heart when you don't serve God. You give your heart to other affections and other gods. Change your mind to run to before it's too late. No.